Is the price too high for your goals and aspirations? Find out today on Strength and Health for Life. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to yet another beautiful day of our wellness journey together. Before we begin, we ask that you smash that like button down below, subscribe to this channel, click the notification bell so you receive all alerts, and watch the video all the way through. Also, if there are any topics that you'd like to see in this channel, please leave your suggestions in the comment section below. By the way, if you'd rather make your income from home doing something that you're passionate about instead of going to a soul-sucking job every single day, and a few extra hundred bucks a week will help you get rid of that soul-sucking job, then take action now and click that first link in the description to learn how to do that. Today, as usual on Sundays, I thought we'd give ourselves a little bit of motivation and talk about the price and cost of your goals and aspirations. See, the thing is that nothing is truly free in this life and everything's going to cost something, whether it's money, time, or even just a little piece of yourself. And the higher that you set your goals, the more you're going to have to sacrifice to get there. And that's just the reality of the world that we live in. You said the S word. Yes, I said sacrifice. So many people try to avoid sacrificing things to get things, but the truth is you already do every single day. When you go to a job, you sacrifice part of your time of your life that you can never get back. But see, that's the trade-off, is that you get to survive and afford your rent and afford to buy food for you and your family, so you still need to have some sort of income, right? But see, the same thing goes for losing weight. You're going to have to sacrifice time because there's no such thing as a quick, instant weight loss of anything. There is no miracle to it. It just takes time and dedication. So the question is, is the cost for your goals too much? And I would say no. It completely depends on what you're willing to pay. Therefore, I propose the question to you, what are you willing to sacrifice to get what you really truly want out of this life? How much money are you willing to pay in order to financially free yourself for the rest of your life so that you don't have to keep going to a soul-sucking job every single day and sacrificing that much time? Because you're going to have to trade either money or your time in order to solve that problem. So the real question when it comes to finances is, What's worth more to you, your time or the initial cost of money to get started in something new so that you can free up more time for yourself? And as you think about that, you need to remember you can't make more time in your life and you don't know how much of it you have left. It is the rarest commodity that exists. So let's talk about weight loss now. So you're going to have to trade something in order to lose weight or gain muscle. So the question is, what are you willing to sacrifice? Are you willing to sacrifice overeating? Here's another big one. A lot of people have certain processed foods that they eat that prevent them from losing weight and getting healthy. So are you willing to sacrifice those processed foods that are engineered to taste delicious? And then there's the workout. How much time are you willing to sacrifice in order to get yourself into shape? Because the truth is you don't even really need that much. So are you willing to sacrifice 30 to 45 minutes a day of your lifespan in order to get yourself in shape and maybe extend the length of your life? And we'll jump back into finance real quick. There's always a stigma for people who start their own businesses or are willing to do what nobody else is doing around them in order to succeed and move forward in life. In fact, it may cost you some of your long-term friendships if they don't agree with you trying to sacrifice and push towards something that they can't see will work for you. Maybe that price is too high for you. 
But the truth is, if they really were your friends and cared about you, then they would at least check into it and see if there's potential there and support you even though it looks like it may not work at the start because nothing really does when you first begin. Or sometimes they may just decide they don't want to hang out with you because you're spending too much time on something that you're passionate about and it doesn't have to be just business. I mean, people want to spend time with you and a lot of times those friendships tend to fail when you don't spend enough time with them. In all reality, the journey to success is a tough road and it's hard to walk and sometimes it's a lonely road to walk on. And part of that is because whether it's finance or weight loss or muscle gain or pretty much any goals that you have, it requires you to believe even when nobody else does in order for you to succeed at it. In fact, you may find yourself to be the only person around you that believes that you can do what you set out to do. So this one's for those of you who believe even when nobody else does. Don't give up. Don't lose faith in your goals and don't lose faith in your journey because it is a journey. There's going to be ups, there's going to be downs, but the only people that succeed are the people that can go through the hard times and never quit. Because you also need to remember that if you get rid of your dreams, there's a cost for that too. And that cost, depending on what it is, may be even higher than you realize. Let's take a look at weight loss. So maybe some people don't believe that you can lose the amount of weight that you need to and they don't support you the way they should. Well, the truth is, if you quit, the cost is the length of your life. The cost of that is also your health and looking and feeling better about yourself. And sure, that one may be a little bit easier, so let's talk about finance and owning your own business. So if you quit your dream, if you quit your passion, you're sacrificing not only your passion, but you continue to sacrifice your time for your job. Are you willing to go through the feeling of not achieving your dreams and your goals? Because that kind of guilt will live with you the rest of your life and nag at you. So is that cost too high? I say it is because the last thing I want is to regret that I didn't try my hardest and give everything that I could into my passions. And that's what leads me to tell you that there is no price that's too high in order to achieve your goals. Because you'll never ever be happy with the things around you the moment you quit pushing for something that you truly want. It'll nag at you the rest of your life. And so you should be willing to pay any price that you need to, to achieve your dream. And that's because you cannot ever get your time back. So it's important that you use it for the things that truly make you happy and truly progress your life in the direction that you want it to progress. Because the truth is, when it comes to finances, it isn't just about making lots of money. It's about the security, the lifestyle. It's about not having to worry. It's about being able to follow your passions every single day. When it comes to weight loss, it isn't just about getting thinner, it's about how you feel about yourself. It's about feeling better physically, it's about feeling better emotionally and mentally. It's about how other people look at you differently. And because of that, the price for those goals is never too high, no matter what the cost is. Because you're not just paying for your dreams or your passions, you're paying for a better life. And remember how I said that you may lose friendships? Well, when you're pushing forward with your goals, you'll also gain friendships of people that think the same way that you do. In fact, that's one of the secrets to all kind of success, whether it's financial success or weight loss or muscle gain or even relationship success, and that's having someone to talk to that's like-minded that can help keep you motivated and accountable and you know be there for you when you go through those detrimental times that you'll inevitably come to along your journey so if you're looking for a weight loss community to help keep you motivated and accountable or maybe you just need someone to be there for you along your weight loss journey 
then let me put a hand forward and invite you to follow us on Facebook and join our Facebook group. Those links are at the bottom of the description. And again, if you've enjoyed this video, please smash that like button down below, subscribe to this channel, and maybe even share this video with your friends so that we have the opportunity to grow and help more people out along their journeys and maybe even help them start their journeys to begin with. With all that said, stay safe, stay healthy, stay hydrated, and I'll see you in the next video.